Hello there, viewers, and welcome to my garage. Right, let's press information on here. And thank you very much for the information. I actually thought this was broken when I first looked at it, but it's not. It is a 3.0 diesel, D for diesel, and a normal 6 engine, and of course, gearbox 4. I thought this was broken because when I looked at this engine I thought it was going to be a bit more powerful than that but it's a different design it's a different look that we're used to so that is perfectly fine I'm not going to paint the panels sorry I have got a sore throat at the moment I actually was not going to record at all until throat soreness is gone so my audio for my voice might be a bit distorted. I do apologize. But anyhow, I would like to actually get on to the serious talk. I would. And up you go. And the serious talk is the simple fact that not many of you actually do know I do suffer with mental health. I have got Asperger's and of course I have got some disabilities like learning, which is dyslexia, dyspraxia and the branches that they can actually have. Yeah, it is a bit tiresome, but not uh, too tiresome. So I'm um, actually in support of anything that is related to mental health like anything that supports it just about to say a charity but totally uh, has left my mind so I was a bit stumped there and of course i'm one of them people who actually agree with equal rights with everybody it doesn't matter to me if you're rich or colored just sex gender whatever i see everybody as a human being and that is it and I actually hope that this world could have that greatness where everybody can be themselves and feel themselves. doesn't matter what themselves are, as long as you feel all right with self. Of course, I support pride and that. And I know I'm going to get bit of a backlash from this because whenever someone does announce that they're actually support of these things it does have a bit of a backlash do apologize but that is me so my question is what can i do on this channel to actually support that I could probably buy a load of cars, paint them up in the pride colours and park them outside. But then that just... I want that off, thank you. Grab. Seriously? Grab and off. But that will just cause problems with frame rate. That is not coming out. Right, let's take character off then. Take you off there and there. That should work. What can I actually do for mental health? Just asking for ideas. What can I actually do to actually show my uh, support? Because I don't bring it up because it's starting quite don't necessarily bring up all this time oh goodness me 
my speech is just not on ball today because it's throw. For goodness me. I just don't want to be away. I would like to actually still make this content. Right, there you go. That is the mod, backpack mod. Now, for the stunning bit of the game, voila, I have actually got a satchel, well, backpack, and this is actually in-game. It is awesome. Thank you very much, Dev, putting this in. It holds 10 items, so I can actually carry 20 items now. Because I've got two backpacks. That's awesome. I can actually disable the disable winter mod as well. Because now on the main menu, you can actually disable winter from there. And I need to take all that lot off. And wrench. Thank you very much. Which is awesome. I've had that mod on for so long. I kind of actually forgot that I actually had it activated. And there we go. All right, you fall off. Brilliant. And I think that you lot need to fall off as well so I can actually just keep up with things there we go cross member seems fine and that is you everything just fall to the ground please there we go and let's lower you down because the shock absorber is not falling I guess it's got a bolt at the top I can't see it. Oh, wait a sec. Titan? No. I don't know why they are actually doing that. Thought the bonnet was loose then for a second. No. Right. So, it is you. Now, there we go. Get you out. And let's go ahead and get a shock absorber for the front. Oh, hello. You've been painted. Oh, the whole room has been painted. Well, chuckle me surprise. This is awesome. Wow. I can stare at this for a it's mesmerizing boom boom anyway let's get on with this so of course it is the wolf so there we go and suspension i need front shot absorbers there you go one and two and i do you believe I needed one front spring? Go. Let's get you. There. And I don't need to paint the car because, of course, the paint booth. I just got into the rhythm of buying the actual spray cans and then just spraying as I go. Because that's what I'm used to. I'm actually not used to the actual paint booth yet. I think I've only used it twice. Oh, this one isn't broken. Okay, then. Just that one, what is. Right. That's okay. So, you're broken. You go there. You're good. Stay. Tie rod. That. Yep, tie rod. Needs replacing. That is there. There. Hub's fine there. Right, you're broken. You can go there. And you can go over here so I'm not kicking you about. You need a pad. Have I... 
got that is rear pad okay then i haven't got the brakes on this side yet all right that's fair news fair enough so let's lift you up i can't see any more rust so that is good Right, actually, or I do carry on. You know when you've got a cold or something is actually up with you, do you actually notice that sometimes you actually become even more clumsier or you actually don't notice things or remember things as well as you normally do? Because... Yeah, that sometimes happens to me. Yep. When I really got a cold, I think I can actually trip over my own feet. That's how bad it can get. Doesn't happen often, but it has happened enough for me to notice it. Why aren't you coming down? You're that there. You're busted, but you ain't coming down. That's a bolt there, bolt there. There's nothing there. Nothing on this side. Oh. I think I need to. Oh, actually. Right, before I do anything, let's loosen that up and take that off. Right, there you go. It has actually fell. Phew! I actually thought I had a bit of a... Oh, hello. Dance, dance, dance the funk. Thought I had a bit of a uh, bug there. And I had to uh, log out and log back in. Wow. <laughs> this looks absolutely strange. I've got a mitt, to be honest. Not ready for the engine, so what I'm going to do is take it apart. There we go. Another day, so that means I have to take it off. Is that it? That's the starter. So it's out of the way. Right, let's lower you down because I don't know where the other bolts are. There you are. One there, one there. That one's done. And that means the engine is out. Good. All right, plunk you there. It's out of the way. Transmission is out. Lovely jubbly. That means this whole bay is clear. I can actually do stuff to it now. Right. I need suspension on. That is the main goal today. Suspension and wheels. Right. Let's go ahead and get lower arm back on to you. There you go. Tighten you up, and that there, that there, and that there. The hub as well. There we go. And there. Need a high rod. And I need one of what are you steering arm okay then get a steering arm I do need left I do believe and both sides oh that's the rears when to get the never mind <laughs> oh goodness me there we go that's my uh 
puts in this there steering arm and fire rod I don't know if there is a steering box oh hello didn't want to drop you there and oh yeah I need to fit you on the tiny little thing there we go over it here there we go right in you there and you can go on now there perfect brilliant now put you back on go and there we go brilliant so how is everybody uh, doing hopefully you're fitting well and able better than my condition at the moment all right you can go there for now the hub carrier is fine on this side so that can go on no on and i was right it was left side so there we go get in dark all right there we go there we go there is new things to the game as well i will be introducing them to you in the story mode which i'm actually quite excited about i've actually got a few things planned for that because i've noticed that all i've done so far in story mode is in the garage and fixing the small damages what are on the cars while parked around and then putting them in to the actual garage and that's it all what you actually know so far about the story is that the main characters family mom dad died at a young age he went to live with his grandparents and their actual uh, grandpa died in an accident thanks to this car crash that's why it's actually here and all bunged up and then eventually grandma passed away so he's on his own now living in the small house in the woods And he was doing up his niv, which is over there. And he asked for this garage to come along and help him out with some parts. The manager saw that he was doing a good job. So he hired him part time. But unfortunately, there was a lot of cars to deal with. So it had to be all time. And most of the time, the main characters stayed over here and slept. I was all over the place looking for this blooming thing while I was talking. Right, so can I put spring in now? Yep, can. That is good. And you. There we go. That is that done. Right. I need to have a look for Bob for the front. And that is up here. That is the rear front. There we go. Right, let's pop you on there. And yeah, parts are just scattered everywhere. I have to go and sell them. 
once I've actually done. Right, there you go. There. I need the break discs. So basically with the story, all what it is, is just been up here. And that is why I actually introduced survival mode. Basically, he got abducted and left in the wilderness, which survival mode I feel like is just that. You are just dumb, middle of nowhere, and you have to survive. So I've gone with that story there. I stopped the story mode because, of course, this update. Why did that Titan automatic? And now, once, of course, I've actually done this vehicle, yeah. Titan's the automatic. Quite strange, that. Is that it then? Yeah, that is. Why do I feel like there is something missing? I know I have to put the calipers on. Right, screwdriver. So yeah, once this stop distracting me car is complete, I can actually get on with that. And thanks to the new updates. Oh wow! This whole area as well is painted white. Like I said, I didn't even notice this. This seems the same colour, but it seems... smoother? If that makes any sense. Oh, wow. Yeah, so thanks to the new updates, I can actually introduce new things to the story. Which I'm excited about. So I can't wait for that. So I need brake pads and all the carapers, I do believe. I've only got the front left, so I need the front right. All right, let's move you out of the way. Right, go. And hang on a sec. I need to cut off for a bit. Well, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had a phone call come through. And every phone call that is made towards me is always important. All right. So, brakes. That is what my target is now. So, I need... Rear and front, and all of you, including you, and brake, you, and you, and cable. Right, that is good. So, how do I use you then? Press the middle button to discard. Okay, then, so E. No, that's the other backpack. Okay, how do I pick up then? Oh, well, I'll just keep using the actual backpack that I know how to use. I need to go on to uh, Discord and actually see what the button is, because that was a discussion. See what the binding should be. All right, there we go. So, that is all there now. So, let's go ahead and bring you over. And how do I empty you out? Work it like that. And then click. Brilliant. That is actually better than uh, it was. Oh, so easy to actually do and all. Right, so I need you to go on to one of you. I know it's 
the front, but I don't know if it's left or right. Can't remember. Me. I'm just all over the place, fumbling like mad. Don't mean to, but I am. Here we go. So put you there. Rear, no, front, right. There we go. Pop you there. Pop you there. And there we go. Brilliant. You up and you up. Brilliant. So, once I've got the brakes on, I can actually. Did I buy the main wire? I don't think I did. There we go. You can actually put all of that in straight away. Right, so this is the rear then. So I need one, two, one, two. There we go. And that is rear right. You're not in. Yep, six, three. Yep. Okay, doesn't matter how the brake caliper is facing, you should just go in because the tick it says so. And there we go. Why are you acting like that? Hmm, okay. I don't know what's going on there. Make that all look finicky. Right, so that is you and you. Okay. And there we go. I feel strange doing a car this way because normally I make sure the bottom's done first. But because of how big the floor is, I have to go from top to bottom. Or at least get the wheels on and then go from there. That is you done. So let's go ahead. Get you lot. There we go. And pop you there. And I need you first. So it's actually got something to connect to. And I have to figure out whereabouts this goes. I think it goes there, where the massive hole is, to be honest. Because <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to be in the middle, bit there, and then go across. But no, let's go for the hole. Gee. Right, where are bolts for you? So that's you there, and you. It's a different design as well for the actual shape for the master brakes in there and all. Uh oh, wait a sec. Yep. Even the actual indicators look different. So the steering column needs to be sorted out as well. And that is you and that looks like the steering block and that looks okay but it's just the steering wheel right i can sort that out later and that is good right so i'm to put you in there we go right let's lower you down I can actually get to the bottom of the mass brake cylinder. Tighten you up and get rid of the backpack. Right, there we go. So, that is actually in. Now, let's get brakes sorted. And then I can focus on the handbrakes. And then the wheel. I actually like the wheels that I actually came with. So I'm going to 
get the rims for them in the shot. There we go. Last one. Bingo. So let's go ahead and find good point. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, because I don't want the actual hand to show up. I would like the green. Thank you. There we go. And that's it. The brakes are in. Have I got... Because I didn't notice one. An actual handbrake. Yep, I was right. But it seems that the handbrake is actually going to actually connect to the actual flooring. So, let's loosen you up. Everything's brand new design looking on this car. It's awesome. So, you, you, and you. Right, that is the column out. There we go. I need the dashboard out. So that is screwdriver. I may sure go from this side first. Lower myself down. Put my head through. What is that? There. Goodness me. Come on, game. Don't be... Seriously, open up and stay. I wish you would stay. To be honest. Right, there you go. And hey presto. That's that. Hey, there's two. Huh. That's kinda weird. Actually, no, it's just one whole dashboard, but it's different shape. There we go. Take you off. Oh my goodness me. Uh, I took half of the front off as well. A lot of you are actually fine. How do, how do I separate you Right, I'm not separating you because I've actually... Ooh, I bought a steering wheel thinking that it would look better, but to be honest... The original steering wheel looks better. Okay, so that can go away. And I need you. Thank you. There we go. And you go there. Right. And that will be interior. Would it? Oh, hello. Automatic gear stick. Oh, that is lovely to actually see. Difference. Automatic gear stick as well as a manual one. Seats. Steering wheel. Steering column I'm after. And that might be accessories. Uh, yep, there you go. Brilliant. And now I can pop you in. Pads look alright. There we go. You, you, in, you. There we go. That is awesome. Right. Now, wheels. So, where are they? They are here and they are. R16. R16. Here I come. Da, 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 da. 
I need R16s and I totally forgot what tread it is. Right, here we go. I've brought the tread with me as well, so I can actually get that. Right, so I need you. There we go. And sixteens are they standard though? Yeah, I think so. Right, standard it is then. Brilliant. Right, click on the right one. Yeah, it's on that one. Right, so that's the high one. So, let's pop you lot away. There we go. And get back to shot. Did I... No. I bought one, didn't I? There we go. Got everything now. Right, so I need to be over here with you lot and the flying so i need you on there and then you there you there brilliant there and there and i did actually buy two rim okay then another overbuy doesn't mind me because I can just sell it and get rid of it, so that's fine. I might lose a little bit, but I use a okay. So let's go ahead and pop you on, and you on, and then you on. You can go there so I can look at you better. And the last one is here, which needs to go there. Brilliant. Right. Wrench. I'm already lowered down, so let's go ahead, tighten you up. Go. Good. Perfect. Right, there we go. Done. Hey, a presto. So, now, the next bit. Lower you down all the way. And this should be the last bit that I actually do on the car for this episode. There we go. Because after this, I reckon I shouldn't really need to actually have the car in the air. So I need to... Actually, no, I might need it in the air. So I can actually put on the rocker panels. You over there as well. I need... You. Come on, thank you. So I can actually pump the tyres up. There we go. I've cut that out because I know how annoying that sound can actually be and of course clicking of my mouse doesn't really help but it did allow me to actually think of something and this car is going to keep moving because it hasn't got a handbrake and now i need you i can actually go like that like that, and I do believe I still here as well. There we go. And yep, I actually do need to lift this car up. Darn it. Thought it'll be easy to actually do this. Oh goodness me. Uh how am I going to lift the car up? How far can you go? 
Right, there you go. So I'm working on the floor now. How the heck am I going to do this? Right, I have to aim for the actual trunk. Because if I put this support onto the flooring, I then get rid of the support, as in the floor, it will fall. So, this, oh. Uh, okay, that's better than I actually thought. Okay, so, that actually came off. Quicker. Oh wow, there's a ton of uh, bits missing from this. The whole tube is practically non existent. Support frame there is gone. Wow. That is somewhere in there. Okay, pop you back on there. Right, where is my welder? Let's throw myself down again. Can I actually see any white lines? I can't see any white lines. Right, does that mean either you're empty or the spewer is gone? No, you're full. So it is you then. Okay then, that is actually good because I actually got a new one. And here it is. There we go. And shut you. I can bring you closer. There we go. And pull oh, it is there. Good. Right. So try this again. That bit there, 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 and there, and there. There we go. Right. So you know I was on about the rocker panels. So let's put you on there. And then lower myself down. That one and that one. There's one there. Done. Of course, you, you, and you, and you. And stop blocking me, lifter. And you. You. All right, a bit coming up now right so here we go you can go on as well there we go let's lift you up a little bit more there we go and you up right there we go so this is the last bit i reckon I actually do wonder why this actually makes this lift go green. I'm not doing anything to it. I can't do anything to it. So I wonder why there's interference. Um, that looks to be it. All right, this was actually halfway. And it's not empty. All right. So, I need to lower this down and have a look inside. There we go. That is done. I think what I'll do is carry on. I know my garage episodes can be longer than normal. Right. Let's push you just... Oh, aren't you on the... Floor. Right, let's get rid of you then. You there. There. And that one there. And as I was saying, yep, my garage videos do tend to actually go on a bit longer than normal. Because, of course, there is a lot to do. Right, open you up so I can actually get in. There we go. Perfect. 
and I am going to get all the body fixed and actually put on. So that is my target for this episode. Accessories can be done when I do the actual engine, so I don't mind on that. And there's nothing else there. But I keep checking the actual... Yeah, you know what? Let's say that is empty, even though there's just a fraction left. And put a brand new one on, so I'm not worrying about missing anything. So that is done. So I need fenders. So that is body fenders. Where are you? Not for panels. All right, quarter panels. Okay then. So front right and front left. There we go. This is front left. There we go, and... Um... Oh, yep, I've already got that <laughs> side already. Okay, never mind, overbuying again. That is that. So, is this same like anything else? It's all bolts. Now I'm looking for my wrench. There it is. So... Oh, sorry, I'm not the ca car. Right, here we go. Tighten you up. So you there, you there, and you. I might need my... Oh, there's rust there. Hello. I didn't see that. Right, where's my buffer? Here's my buffer. And let's go ahead. I wonder if this will actually work. Yeah, it did. Does that look damaged to you? I don't even know what that part even is. Huh. Okay, then. So, that is that done. I was actually thinking of taking this off. And actually putting it back on now that I've actually got both of the quarter panels on. Because that flashing just looks a bit odd. There you go. Yep, there you go. They've disappeared. That's good. Probably a little bit dirty still. Go. Make sure. There we go. Now, thing was actually thinking of was the paint station. I wonder if you can actually build onto that. And I mean, I don't know why it was shutting then. There we go. Still flickering. All right, then. Right. As I was actually uh, saying, I wonder if you can actually build on top of that. Because paint paints every single panel. So there's obviously a lot of work and a lot of coding for this. So you put a vehicle in here, go around the side, pick the colour, spray the whole entire car, and it does it. Every single panel, what can be painted, gets painted. So, the add-on, car wash. Instead of using the hose, because here and that, the water flowing all the time, can kind of get annoying. So, how about... Car wash, you put the car in the middle, click on the button on the side, 
So instead of paint car, you wash car. And it does the exact same thing as what the painting side does. Paints everything what can be painted. Because everything what can be painted can get dirty. So why don't you just use that as a reference? Put water on it and it cleans everything what can be cleaned. Then on top of that, you could probably get a de-rusting booth where you actually put the car in and you click on a button and it will de-rust it. Exactly the same way as what you would do with the painting, but the rusting will be different because it has to leave this mark. That encoding i guess i'm not a coder i don't make games to me it seems like that is paint basically we can't get to it but the only way we can actually leave that mark is by painting it onto the surface and rust is exactly the same it covers the paint so it just seems to me it's another paint coating to go in because it blocks out the paint. So Booth will have to de-rust it and then leave this so you know it's de-rusted everything. Just make it quicker, put a price on it as well. Just makes it quicker for people when they're actually doing stuff. It's just a random thought. But you know what? I think that is everything. Actually, let's open you up and open you up. Right, there we go. Line there. Knew it. Line there there we go and yep yeah, there you go that is everything now actually attached to the actual vehicle now all the bodywork is on all what is left to do now is the interior which i basically class it as accessories like lights and everything else then it is of course the engine so i reckon for the last episode for this car it is going to be a engine build and to finish the car off and you know what we'll have a, a good drive after it goes into the paint booth so it can actually get painted and in the meantime, I will just basically clear this up, get rid of everything I overbought, and go from there. So, this is of course the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And as always, remember, appreciate you all. Sorry about my cold. And... You'll see me in the next one. Bye.